Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we want to I want to talk about this. This is the Club Sport Steering Wheel RS from Fanatec. Uh, picked this up quite recently and I wanted a round wheel and I wanted one at 320mm. So this is it. So this is 320mm, it's made of metal and this carbon fibre, it says it's real, I don't, not sure it is real to be honest. It's wrapped in real leather and it is ridiculously strong. It's coming in at 1.6 kilos, so this is not a light wheel at all. It's got an LED, the single LED display, the three digit one, which is quite common on the Fanatec products. And it has the LED light bar at the top, which doesn't work on every game. Um, you need to be aware of that. It only works on certain games. Uh, it has magnetic paddle shifters and 3mm thick carbon, um, 3 mil thick steel on the shifters and it obviously comes with a QR1 slide. It has 11 buttons on the front, a funky switch which of course everybody knows and on this side it also has a joystick. Well, the funky switch there which is obviously now a well known thing. Um, that's about it really. There's not much more to tell you about its features, but let me tell you about how it drives, because the drivability of these things are what it's all about. So this is a fantastic wheel for GT3, etc. So I swapped from, I normally drive with either the Porsche wheel I have, or I sometimes also drive with the McLaren, but I swapped to this recently, and I had my lap times were no different in fact. Hard to say, but I don't think they went, they didn't, certainly didn't go down. But I did have that feel in corners because this wheel was round. It, I don't know, it just seemed to feel better in cornering. Whether that's my imagination, I don't know. This, the, but this wheel, despite me really liking it, has one massive issue. And it's an issue that it had put me off recommending it to anybody. And that is this at the top. So... Let me just see if you can not want to zoom in too much or we're going to lose focus because it's trying to focus on me there. Oh, the LED light bar up here. This LED light bar is made of plastic. If I can get the angle right, you will see how far it steps off. Look at the step off there. It's massive. Now the biggest problem with that is when you let the wheel come back, so you let go of the wheel like you rally it and you want to let go of the wheel and let it come back to you, this hits your hand and it's quite sharp on the corners and it becomes very annoying very quickly so I found I've had to drive this with gloves because it's just the comfort's just not there on the wheel which is a massive shame because the wheel itself is fantastic uh, I think these are gimmicky anyway and the amount of games they work in is quite limited to be honest it does work in uh, ACC and it does I believe work in um, Automobilista 2. Uh, other games it doesn't seem to work in even if I'm in Final Lab so it, to me it's not needed I think it'll look just as nice if it what it'll look nicer in fact if it wasn't there. So this wheel is there used to be another version of this which had brown leather and the Porsche logo on the front now that's been discontinued and that's the wheel I really wanted now I did see a few second hand ones knocking about, well they tended to be 370, 380 quid off and I think the best one I found was 340 but it had a few marks on it. Well this is a 349.95 wheel so I wasn't going to pay more for a second hand wheel especially when to me it's not a collectible, it's not like some of the F1 wheels, it's not a collectible wheel to me, it's just a standard wheel So and it's a club sport. So it, I wasn't going to pay that for it and you've also got the thing it being second hand and most of them were very nearly out of warranty or out of warranty so um, I went for this one and I actually didn't buy this new I, paid, I bought this off eBay for 330 quid off a guy that had had it and it's one month old it came with the receipt um, and he bought it from the UK and he paid this 360 I think he paid in the UK for this wheel so I paid him 330 like I said and it was one month old, so I, I was very happy. Plus, I got a next day delivery, <laughs> so can't really fault that. Um, so, yeah, I can't recommend this wheel. I just can't. It's the only Fanatec wheel that I think I've had, apart from price issues on some of them, 
that I couldn't recommend, but I certainly couldn't recommend this simply because of the fact of this. It just... I don't understand why they had to make it stick out. Why they couldn't let put a little recess in the wheel and put that in there. And it's probably because of the fact that the steel inside here is so thick. And <clears throat> I'm guessing that because of the weight of this wheel. Because this wheel is ridiculous. Like I said, 1.6 kilos is ridiculously heavy. And it, you don't really need that kind of thing. So out of the box is, is not Xbox compatible, but you, we, all, we all know you can make more, all these wheels work on Xbox. It does just mean it doesn't have all the functions already set up for it. It's not a PlayStation wheel. It's, a, it's The PlayStation bit will work on the PlayStation if your wheelbase is supporting PlayStation. But obviously this is mainly a PC wheel. Um, value for money, it's, it's all right. And... Um, there's a lot of cheap wheels coming out. If you look at the new Camus wheel that's come out, the new Camus system, which is ridiculously cheap and the reviews seem really good, so you can pick that DD, you can pick up the equivalent of a DD1, which is their version, for 500 quid. It comes in at 15 newton meters instead of the 20, but who's going to hell is different? And if you buy the package for 700, you get a nice wheel that comes with it, so it just doesn't have this on. Like I said, this is not needed, I think this is just a gimmick. Um, but yeah, so it's another one for the collection and to be honest it's not probably one that I will maybe keep for a long time. I think I'm still looking for something that hasn't got this. I, I, I really wanted to buy um, one of the ones where you buy the button box separately. So I want a wheel and a button box really but everything was out of stock and also they get very pricey very quickly. They get over 400 450 but I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet at some point and do that. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. If you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so. Um, it makes a big difference to me. The, as you've probably noticed this channel does not have adverts. I do not have It's not. I don't get paid from YouTube. I just do it for the sake. I do it for the like. But I like doing it, or I used to like doing it when I set up the channel originally to do quads, and then I've moved to this because I, I stopped doing quads. So the channel's just m me doing it for fun, basically. And I hope you get some enjoyment out of it. So please do subscribe, apparently, it makes absolutely no difference to me whether you do or not. But it's just nice to know that people like the videos. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a fantastic day.